देना कर्ज की किस्तें चुकाना भूल जाता हूं दोस्तों को सलाम और विदा कहना याद नहीं रहता अफसोस प्रकट करता हूं मेरे हाथ ऐसे कामों में उलझे रहे जिनका मेरे दिमाग से कोई मेल नहीं था कभी ऐसा भी हुआ जो कुछ भूला था उसका याद न रहना भूल गया माँ कहती थी उस जगह जाओ जहाँ आखिरी बार तुमने उन्हें देखा उतारा या रखा था The last session was chaired by H S Shiva Prakash with readings by Helda Maria P P Ramachandran Ingrid Fishner and Tiziana Serra Rosco So we have this uh, last session which is going to be the swan song of this world poetry festival which uh it was a Matter of coincidence, it 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 started on the same day as the the World Poetry Festival. It was not planned that way. It happened that way. So maybe the spirit of poetry willed it that way. So this has some significance in the annals of mankind in the years to come. I hope. Mochal mochal afu enwa, mochal mochal afu enwa. Mochal mochal afu en hozot la glisha me salo mo Tilambe yale Tilambe yale Tilambe yale it ma combo de ye Mo ko so pa bu bon nesti Mo ko so pa bu bon nesti Mo ko so pa bu bon nesti Mo ko so mo bu bon la bala rush of morning walkers in the park a walk up to nowhere salutes addressing no one hard exercises not knowing what for having seen for years these pranks of obesity a skyscraper opposite the park gently moved its legs to release wind stinking and the dawn broke out and both order east and shimmer yeah. a call or is it some glimmer raising all the voices among the reeds a frog complaining coming closer from the woods a tawny owl's sigh wind from all directions one loud call the cuckoo his melancholy behind closed doors the program is sleeplessness padre perdona loro perché non sanno quello che fanno forse vi ho insegnato ad amarmi troppo father forgive them for they know not what they do Maybe I thought you to love me too much and to believe in me but not as at the end watching the sun the grain believes that before being milled we shrine for all blown as those secrets lies that god mixes with rays and you don't have to see them explore at midday but that at some point in the day for example a dragonfly a dragonfly that was just passing by with a wing that cracks a forceful clarity a flash from the human center of the air and one takes to recognize things the things that are so beautiful come to reclaim what we thought we had lost in our exemplary lack of grace what we did know that for example even the mere gesture of covering your eyes in that light The festival concluded in the afternoon with Mr. K. Srinivas Rao, Secretary Sahitya Academy, proposing the vote of thanks and sending of the poets for a well-earned sightseeing trip. Uh, I'm extremely uh, thankful to the all the poets came from abroad and also from uh, India from different corners of country. They have come here in very short notice. So, first of all, I thank every one of you who have come in a short notice. and uh, helped us in uh, making this event a grand success i'm also thankful to our president and vice president 
for their constant uh, support and encouragement which gave us more energy to make this event a grand success well it's a pleasure to be at sabad the world poetry festival that the uh, sahitya academy has organized uh, almost like a spring festival and uh, it specifically is a pleasure because it brings together poets from so many different parts of india as well as the world so it, it acts actually like a parliament of poets and that's why i'm so happy to be here and to be sharing my work with uh, friends and colleagues it's very important that the sahitya academy should continue to do this because it makes a huge difference for poets who are otherwise very solitary and reclusive writers to come together and uh, enjoy the sense of community and solidarity so it's a very important initiative for the academy it's a wonderful experience listening to all the poets from different parts of the world if uh, you know if only poetry could stop all the wars that would be just wonderful i would like to congratulate the organizers for this successful uh, uh gathering of poets which is not very very easy to do of course and i wish them all the luck in the future it's not like other um, sahitya academy festival uh, this world poetry fair makes is very interesting is open the eyes for the indian poets uh, what is going on in europe and other countries discussion section also the poem and the other arts is also very interesting one and we really enjoy uh, this time and thanks to sahitya academy for all this i think uh, we greatly benefit out of this international experience and uh, not only we personally gain but our uh, uh, respective literature also gain because of the input we get we usually try to experiment it with our literature with our writing in our own state in our vernacular language maybe in a, in a, in a link language in the language in which we write poetry is a universal language and i think it's a language that we it can kind of traverse different cultures different experiences and it's a great way to share different works so bringing together poets from such different countries encourages like a very nice exchange. So it's great. It's a really good program. It's good that they're doing it. They were fantastically read the poems. They were very um inspiring and very moving um on many subjects and I would hope that the organizers and the poets would all want to come back to continue this programming in India. It's been a huge honor to be invited here to Delhi to this first world festival of poetry. It's been a uh, a very intense experience meeting so many poets from so many different countries it's been my first exposure to contemporary indian poetry which has been a wonderful experience hearing so many indians particularly so i'd like to congratulate the this wonderful festival i hope it will be repeated and i will definitely return to india at the time ye vishva kavita ka aayojan hai jo pehli baar sahitya academy kar rahi hai aur isko prati 2 varsh baad kiya jayega इसीलिए इसको बिनाले कहा गया है द्विवार्षिक कविता आयोजन इसका मूल लक्ष्य है दुनिया भर की संस्कृतियों सभ्यताओं को साथ लाना और उनका माध्यम है कविता कविता के माध्यम से ही सभ्यताएं संस्कृतियां फलती फूलती हैं तो हमारा लक्ष्य यह है कि एक ऐसी विधा के द्वारा जो कि प्राय अहिंसात्मक है और जिसका प्राय हर भाषा में स्वागत होता है उस विधा के द्वारा लोगों को करीब लाना और आप देख रहे हैं सारा हाल भरा हुआ है दिल्ली के श्रोता और दर्शक इसका आनंद उठा रहे हैं और इससे उनको दिमागी खुराक भी मिल रही है तो हमें आशा है कि आगे भी इस तरह का वातावरण बना रहेगा ये जो वर्ल्ड पोइट्री फेस्टिवल हुआ उसमें शरीक हो के शिरकत करके बहुत अच्छा लगा और जाहिर है कि ये काम एक एकेडमी ऑफ लेटर्स का ही हो सकता है कि जिसमें इस तरह के मुख्तलिफ लोग मुख्तलिफ मुल्कों के जमा हों और इतना अच्छा प्रोग्राम हुआ मुझे लगता है कि इसके लिए मुझे हर तरह से साहित्य अकेडमी को मुबारकबाद पेश करना चाहिए 
Some of them I understand, some of them I don't, but there are some very good translations. I have discovered new poets, poets I didn't know before, but poets who I think I will read time and again. And I wish all good luck to this festival in the future. I hope it continues. It's important to celebrate poetry at the present juncture because in the age of globalization, everybody is celebrating the market. Globalization brings the world together through market, but it does not bring the hearts together. So it's important to bring together poetry of different countries to establish a heart connection between different peoples of the world. The Sahitya Academy is organizing this four-day World Poetry Festival, Shabad, for the first time in the history of Sahitya Academy. And we have invited a poets, very eminent and senior poets from 23 countries, including India. In all, we have near about 45 poets and uh, around 20, 25 observers in this. And uh, the, uh, the senior poets like Kumar Narayan and Chandrakant Devutale from India, and K. Shivaraddi from Telugu, and very important languages we have taken from India. And similarly, uh, poets like uh, George Sirtes and uh, uh, many uh, uh, Jin Arsnaigam from Sri Lanka, Bel uh, Belal Chaudhary from Bangladesh have come. And uh, uh, the festival has got a warm uh, kind of response from the uh, our Delhi poetry lovers and Delhi literary lovers. And uh, we hope to have this kind of uh, poetry festival every year if uh, government supports us. It has been a great pleasure being at this uh, World Poetry Festival. Uh, I think it's great because it's brought so many poets from different parts of the world to meet with Indian poets. You know, it's like a cross-fertilization. And you learn from each other. I've learned from poets from other places, and I believe they might have learned something from me too. And uh, I think it's good. The more exposed poets from different parts of the world are to each other, I, I think the stronger they are. We learn from each other. And uh, I hope this initiative will be continued.